Hello, this is the second PowerPoint in the Monopoly and Natural Monopoly series. And in this video, we're going to have a look at a diagram of Monopoly and have a look at the price and output decisions the monopolist makes. So first of all, we need the data. So we've got a table of a business with monopoly power. So this means that they have price setting power monopoly power so that's the ability to price set the price above the prevailing competitive price in the market and we know a firm has a price setting power or monopoly power because they face a downward sloping demand curve for their product or their output so if average revenue is falling then marginal revenue will be below average revenue so we'd like you to stop the video fill in this table using your cost curve calculations and we will compare notes shortly. So when you filled in the video, the table, let's have a look. Do you have the same data as we do? If you want to stop the video again and just compare and make sure you've got all your figures correct, please do so. So now we're going to have a look at the diagram. So here we go. Costs and revenue on the y axis, output on the x axis. Average revenue curve falling, downward sloping, indicating market power. Marginal revenue curve falling at twice the rate and cutting the x axis. It's just tradition to draw it that way. Average cost curve, big U shape, with marginal cost curve tick shape making sure that the tick cuts the average cost curve at its lowest point so now we've got our curves on there what do we do next well we use the profit maximizing condition and that is where marginal cost equals marginal revenue so we find the spot where mc equals mr what that does is it gives us the profit maximizing output. So only, only be tempted to go down to the output axis and write Q1 or Q star or profit maximizing output. Then take the line all the way up to the average revenue curve, straight up. And when you do that, you can then find the price, the profit maximizing price that this monopolist will use. What we're going to go on to do is show how this firm makes super normal profit. So we now know the average revenue or price. We need to find out what is the average cost so we can work out the profit per unit. So we put in the cost C1. So we come off the average cost curve and we're comparing P1 is the average revenue or revenue per unit. C1 is the average cost per unit. So the difference between C1 and P1, the vertical difference is the profit per unit. So what we now need to do is to times that by the number of units sold, which is Q1, and we get the supernormal profit earned by this monopolist.